Hello, and welcome to the public hearing for Loop 9, Segment A, from US 67 to IH 35 East. This hearing has been convened by the Texas Department of Transportation and is being held to receive and consider comments from the public. Please note, you may pause this presentation at any point to allow more time to review the information. November 7, 2000 was the last deathless day on roadways in Texas. That means for over 22 years, at least one person has died every single day. We all have a part to play to change that. This message is that reminder to end the streak of deaths on Texas highways. We need drivers and passengers to act more responsibly and help us reach our goal of zero deaths by 2050. Texans can play a major role in ending fatal crashes with a few simple driving habits. Wear seat belts, drive the speed limit, put away the phone and other distractions, and never drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs. So please do your part and share this message with your friends and family. Howdy, I'm John Hudspeth, Director of Transportation Planning and Development for the TxDOT Dallas District. Thank you for joining us as we conduct this virtual public event. Understanding how our projects impact communities is important to TxDOT. The following presentation will provide instruction on how you can connect with us and provide vital input about this project. We will continue to work closely with stakeholders, communities, and the public as we move forward. Thank you for your time and interest in improving our transportation system, and we look forward to receiving your comments. You may have attended previous public hearings conducted by TxDOT. Due to changes in TxDOT public involvement protocols, we will not have a live speech or take comments from the floor at this public hearing. In lieu of a live speech, we are showing this pre-recorded presentation. Verbal comments will still be accepted on our voicemail line. For the benefit of those who have never participated before, we will explain why the department conducts a public hearing. A public hearing has four essential purposes. One, inform the public of the status of planning on the project and present the recommendations based on studies performed to date. Two, describe the project so those attending can determine the project's potential to affect their lives and property. Three, Provide the public an opportunity to see information and express their views at this stage in the planning process when flexibility to respond to comments still exists and before location and design decisions are finalized. Four, and finally, to develop a record of public views and participation to accompany recommendations for subsequent decisions. This public hearing is being held in compliance with both federal and state laws. Following this hearing, the department will proceed with the preparation of the final environmental documentation. Your statements and comments will be addressed in this document and will be given full consideration in the preparation of the final recommendation and design for the Loop 9 Segment A project. The design schematic and environmental documentation for the Loop 9 Segment A project are available for inspection and reproduction at the Texas Department of Transportation Dallas District Office located at 4777 East U.S. Highway 80 in Mesquite, Texas 75150. In addition, the design schematic and environmental documentation may be viewed at www.keepitmovingdallas.com forward slash LP9 segment A and at www.textdot.gov forward slash loop 9 forward slash segment dash A dot HTML. The information on this website is the same information being shown in this presentation. The purpose of the Loop 9 Segment A roadway project is to increase east-west mobility within the region, meet local and regional future travel demand by increasing capacity, reduce travel congestion within the project area, and provide support for economic development within the region by improving connectivity between the communities and the project area. Loop 9 Segment A is needed to address transportation demand resulting from population and economic growth in the region, provide system linkages to other area corridors, provide connectivity among the existing communities, and because the area lacks a sufficient east-west corridor between US 67 and IH 35 East, which serve as major north-south arterials to the Dallas metropolitan area. Prior to December 16, 2014, 
the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under the National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from FHWA to review and approve certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This agreement was updated on December 9, 2019. Environmental studies were conducted for the proposed Loop 9 Segment A project to support an environmental clearance in accordance with NEPA. These environmental analyses are necessary to identify, avoid, and minimize effects to the human and natural environments. Technical environmental documentation was approved for further processing by TxDOT and was coordinated with other public agencies. Notices for this public hearing were advertised in the Dallas Morning News, Aldea, Focus Daily News, Ellis County Press, and the Waxahachie Daily Light newspapers. Additionally, notices were published at www.text.gov forward slash loop 9 forward slash segment dash a dot html and www.keepitmovingdallas.com forward slash lp9 segment a. The TxDOT Public Information Office also prepared a news media release to advertise the public hearing. The TxDOT technical reports are available for your review on the project website and at the TxDOT Dallas District Office. As a part of the NEPA process, TxDOT evaluated four build alternatives and four modifications to these alternatives for this project, resulting in 30 possible build combinations. These alternatives were evaluated along with a no-build alternative. You can view the full evaluation in the DEIS, including the environmental constraints matrix for each alternative. A version of the environmental constraints matrix will also be shown on the public hearing website. Based on TxDOT's evaluation of the alternatives and the detailed EIS study it has conducted, Alternative 3, BCD, has been selected as the recommended preferred alternative. Alternative 3, BCD, best meets the project's purpose and need of providing an east-west transportation facility, improving mobility and connectivity in the region. It better supports economic development and future plans for the cities and counties, and it would substantially minimize impacts to the Lindell Estate subdivision in Glen Heights. The proposed Loop 9 Segment A project includes phased construction of a six-lane new location frontage road system between US 67 and IH 35 East through Dallas and Ellis Counties, Texas, and is approximately 9.4 miles in length. The proposed Loop 9 Segment A roadway system would pass through the cities of Cedar Hill, Ovilla, Glen Heights, and Red Oak. The new location frontage road system would likely be constructed in two phases, resulting in an eastbound and westbound frontage road facility, each consisting of three 12-foot lanes, an 8-foot inside shoulder, and an 8-foot outside shoulder. The proposed project right-of-way would include a median wide enough to accommodate the future construction of an ultimate access-controlled main lane facility built in phase three of the project. Phase 1 would construct a single two-lane, two-way frontage road and would also acquire the proposed right-of-way to accommodate a six-lane frontage road system and the future ultimate access-controlled main lane facility. This phase would also include restriping of the US 67 intersection to accommodate the new Loop 9 frontage road turning movements. Phase 2 would involve the construction of the three-lane frontage road in each direction, which would include the conversion of the two-way frontage road built in Phase 1 to a one-way operation. Phase 2 would be constructed as traffic warrants and funding becomes available. The ultimate access-controlled main lane facility in both directions would be the third phase of construction. Construction of this portion of the roadway would be done at a later date based on projected traffic and available funding under a separate project. Additional environmental analysis and public involvement would be required prior to construction of Phase 3. The technical documentation for this project addresses the potential environmental impacts identified during the preliminary engineering of the proposed project. These areas of potential impacts included natural, social, and cultural resources. This slide shows a list of all resources that were evaluated during the environmental analyses. 
The following slide includes a summary of some of those findings. A total of approximately 597 acres of new right-of-way would be required to complete the proposed improvements. 36 residential and three commercial displacements are anticipated. The City of Glen Heights Water Tower would also be displaced. Extensive coordination with the City will occur during planning of the new water tower location to minimize disruption to service as much as possible. No public facilities such as recreational facilities, churches, schools, or cemeteries would be displaced as a result of the construction of the proposed project. All right-of-way acquisition would be completed in accordance with the Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970, as amended. Brochures, including two booklets titled The Purchase of Right-of-Way and Relocation Assistance, are also available on the project website. These booklets contain detailed information to inform you of your rights and provide information about the TxDOT right-of-way acquisition process. The public comment period for the proposed project ends January 3rd, 2023. Following this hearing, documentation of this public hearing will be reviewed by TxDOT for final environmental clearance and design approval. If there are no major issues arising from this hearing that cannot be addressed in a reasonable time frame, a record of decision providing final environmental clearance is expected by fall to winter 2023. After the record of decision is issued, TxDOT can begin acquiring right-of-way, complete the final design, and relocate utilities. Phased construction of the project would not begin until funding is identified. The estimated total cost for construction of the recommended preferred alternative is approximately $368 million. The project has an anticipated ready-to-let date of spring 2027. Letting is when TxDOT notifies the construction community that a project is ready to be bid on. This concludes the environmental evaluation portion of the presentation. Comments will be accepted in a number of ways as shown on the screen. If you would like to leave a verbal comment, please call the number listed. Comments must be received or postmarked by January 3, 2023 to be part of the official public hearing record. All substantive comments and questions will be fully considered and responded to in the project record and made part of the final environmental document for this proposed project. This document will then be made available for public review online at the project website. We sincerely appreciate your participation and interest concerning the proposed design of the Loop 9 Segment A project. Your questions, comments, and concerns will receive careful consideration. Thank you very much.